Welcome to the video tutorial of Headshop 11 Macintosh. We will learn about installation and operation. Headshop 11 Macintosh is a standalone application. You will create and export shape and texture to DAS Studio. Installation. After downloading, you will see a package installer. Double click to start installer. The installer will walk you through the simple installation process. By default, Headshop is installed in the Max application folder. You may be asked to enter a password for your computer. Once installed, you can launch Headshop from your application folder. After the splash screen, you will see a teach panel. These panels will pop up at each task. You can disable them by clicking the Do Not Show button. The next screen is the Setup screen. Here you choose a photo and also choose your intended target. This is important. The wrong target will not load into another Genesis file. Try to load good, high-resolution photos for best results. Notice that many things happen automatically. Over 40 points identify facial features. Also, Headshop automatically detects the correct gender. You may have to manually adjust the top of the head circle to the correct place. Select the correct intended target, Genesis 2, 3, or 8. Click on Apply. Next, the front screen appears and it loads the photo on the left side and the 3D head on the right side of the screen. The navigation cross lets you look at the 3D head from the front and sides. See if the heads need smoothing. Use the smooth slider to smooth as needed. Explore rotate tool or the zero button that toggles between frontal and the photo's head angle. Notice that one side of the 3D face lacks details. In such case, you can mirror the better side over to the other. Auto dots are for advanced users who want to experiment with altering the head shape. This is not recommended for beginners. Next comes the Features tab. It can save more files of age, weight, or smile for later use in DAS Studio. Select one, more, or all. Next, the next tab is Style tab. Open the Style Library to choose a hairstyle. Simply drag the selected hair over to the right side of the screen. Chances are you need to adjust and position the hair. It is easier if you use the zero button to position head in the frontal. You can use the size slider to adjust the size if needed. The accessory tab works similar to style, in case you need hats, eyeglasses, or jewelry. In the Color tab, open Hair Textures. Highlight the hair and double-click on the desired texture. Your work is done in Headshop. Time to export all your files. Select a project folder and click OK. Importing files into DAS Studio. Launch DAS Studio.
place the intended target figure, in this case, Genesis 2 female, on stage. Find more floater in the edit menu under figures. Notice that it will ask you to select a figure you want to import morphs for. Select Highlight Genesis 2 Female. Now find your project file. Notice that it has a bunch of files in it. We start with loading the Headshot Project OBJ file. Important, you must select DAS scale 100% for the import. The imported morph will show up under Parameters, Morphs. Adjust it between 0% and 100% as you like. Next, we use the Surface tab and start to import the texture files. We first find the face item and scroll to find the diffuse color box. This box, lets you, this box lets you browse to your saved texture files in your project folder. Import the headsmooth.jpg file. While you are at it, also import iSmoothJPEG and mouthsmoothjpg as well. Apply head smooth to both face and lips. Apply eye smooth to irises, lacrimals, pupils, and sclera. Finally, apply mouth smooth to teeth. Now for fun, we can also load your feature morphs to make your character fat, old, or smiley. Again, make sure you import them at DAS scale. All your morphs will show up in the Parameters Morphs tab. Have fun with the sliders. Time to import the hair object. Go to File, Import, and browse in your project folder for Headshot Project Hair.obj. Important, this time you import hair at poser scale. Adjust hair position as needed. Import the hair texture and you are done.
creating child head. We start with head shop 11 as before. This time we load a child head in the setup dialog. No need to panic if the 3D head looks like a grown-up, just export it. Quit Headshop 11 and start DAS Studio. Load Genesis 2 Female. Using the Morph Loader, load HeadshopProject.obj Morph. Now going to the Parameters tab and selecting Actor, we can scroll to the Youth Morph slider and adjust the size and age of the child. Time to use the imported Headshop Project OBJ Morph. Next, we can load the texture files from the project folder in the Surfaces tab under Surfaces. Load the Head Smooth JPEG for face and lips an eye smooth JPEG for irises, lacrimals, pupils, and sclera. Finally add hair and we are done.